moment. You you get the vibe. You get the vibe. I just feel like a soft, cuddly bear in this. Yeah. Love the design of this. Bam. Hello and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. It is getting a bit cold, so I thought perfect time for a staple winter coats video. Today I'm going to show you my staple winter coats. Some of these I've had for quite a few years, but they're all in good shape. They're on trend, and most importantly, they look good and they keep me warm. Okay, I'm going to start with one of my favourites. This is a faux fur coat I got from Zara, I think about two years ago. So anything that's not available now, I will find something similar and link it in the description. The only thing I don't like about this coat is that the sleeves come up a bit short. Now I like long sleeves, so I prefer them over my wrist. But this doesn't even come up to my wrist. But hey, I do normally wear a jumper under this, so I just have the sleeves out like that, which is kind of a look, so I don't mind it. Other than that, so warm, the most comfortable warm coat. And it's not very heavy, it's quite lightweight. Some coats that are quite warm and thick can be a bit heavy, so I like that this is lightweight. It's got nice deep pockets, it's got a little button here to do it up with, and it also has a little matching belt. If you wanna tie it up like that, you can put a scarf with it, but you don't need it because it is so warm and covering. And bang, there you go, super warm. Your wrists are a little bit cold, but the rest of you are super warm. It looks so chic, it's on trend, it's warm, it's furry, it's soft, it's, it's everything. This coat is everything. I just feel like a soft cuddly bear in this. I'm gonna show you this puffer coat slash jacket from Pretty Little Thing. This is actually a recent purchase, so this one will be available. I'm not sure if it's waterproof. I always assume jackets like this are waterproof, but I haven't worn it out in heavy rain yet. It's just either been just cold or lightly drizzling at the most anytime I've worn this out. It's got a nice size hood on it. I think it's really cute, very on trend puffer jacket. So very in this year. This is an oversized puffer jacket and I got this in an extra small because I knew it was gonna be quite wide and big and I didn't want it crazy wide and big. Alright, let's do it all the way up. Not that I'm ever gonna work this like this, but I'm just showing you what it looks like. It's super lightweight, but it does keep you warm and it just feels really comfy and soft. It's like having a light duvet on you. It's by far one of the most comfortable jackets I own. It's warm, it's comfy, it's soft. It's a lovely brown. I know they make you look like you're four months pregnant, but whatever, it's an oversized jacket. It's meant to look big. You don't always want a long coat in winter. Sometimes you're wearing really thick buttons and you just want a little jacket slash coat on top. And this is perfect for that. I love it. It's quite cute for sort of slouchy off the shoulder look, if you like. And one of the best things about this jacket is the size of the pockets like my whole arm up to about here goes into these you could probably fit an ipad mini in this shall we test it oh, i don't have one okay maybe we won't test it don't have an ipad mini but i do have a book i think just forget i said that another thing i really like about this jacket is how it gets more snug around your wrists so you can't get any wind or anything in really warm comfortable cozy jacket whenever i go anywhere i just want to take my jacket off and get comfortable but this is one of those jackets you just you just want to be in it like you just want to stay in it it's just so definitely a duvet kind of jacket this is another recent purchase. This one is from Boohoo. A nice long dog tooth print coat. You can't really see the buttons, but they are like a double breasted look when you do it up. It's got nice pockets on the side. This isn't advertised as an oversized coat, but it does feel like it. Like this is a size eight and it's quite wide, but then the shoulder isn't really like a dropped shoulder. So I don't think it's supposed to be an oversized fit. I think it's just like a wide fit coat. I'm quite happy with the size eight, but you can size down you want. I feel like this is really smart, it's quite chic, dog tooth print is in this year as well. I'll show you a little close up of it. The material is okay but it's not a thick wool so I don't think this will be for the really cold winter days. <sighs> this is definitely another one of my favourites. It's a lovely beige camel wool coat from River Island. I did get it about two years ago but I'll find something similar and link it down below. Be a little well in this the buttons it stayed in really good shape for two years there's no bobbling or anything on the material so it's good quality i like the detail on this coat very very nice 
this is a lovely good quality thick wool material so it definitely keeps you warm and it's actually a size 14 so I'm a size 8 to 10 in coats but this I actually got on sale and it was the last one left in a size 14 when I wear it open it does look a little bit oversized but if I do it up at the waist like this I think it looks quite nice and fitted what do you think what do you think can you tell it's a size 14 and I'm a size 8 don't think you can I even sometimes just do it up at the back of it put it in okay I haven't done that very well but anyway you get the idea if I want to make it a bit more fitted and slimline. I've just quickly changed my top underneath to show you this jacket because I feel like you'll be able to see it better with a different colour underneath. This is a very nice cream slash greyish. Is it grey? Sort of grey. Grey and cream kind of colour. This is a aviator jacket that I've recently purchased from Pretty Little Thing. Aviator jackets have been trending this year. I really like this one. I thought it was quite different. Although it's a jacket, not a coat, I did include it in this video because it is very suitable for winter, very warm. And depending on where you're going, you might not always want a long coat. So I feel like this is really nice for winter. It's warm. I think it looks really cute. I'll show you what it looks like done up. It's got a little belt here, which is quite cute. I don't I don't think I would do it up and wear it like this. I don't think I would do it up unless I was really cold. It does definitely look better open, I think. What do you think? Do you like it? It does have really nice zipped pockets. Not the deepest, but fit for purpose. Just love the design of this. The only thing I don't like about this jacket is not the most comfortable. When you bend your arms and that kind of thing, it does feel a bit tight, but it's not a tight jacket, so... Not the most comfortable, but it does look really nice and it does keep me warm. This is my lovely big teddy coat from Boohoo. Absolutely love it. I did get this a while ago, so again, I'll find something similar and link it below. It's warm, it's comfy. It just looks really cute. I feel like a big polar bear. Little close up. Oversized look. Very cozy coat, nice deep pockets. The only thing I don't like about this coat is that the lining is quite thin. It's like a thin cotton, feels a bit cheap, but it hasn't ripped, it hasn't given me any problems. I have had this coat for a few years. Inside of the pockets are also the cotton lining. Not amazing, I would prefer it to be like a thicker material or a nice satin, but it looks good, I like it. Okay, this is probably one of my favorite teddy coats. I do have quite a few. It's a lovely oversized soft teddy, because some teddy materials can be a bit rough. This is a very soft, it's kind of like a furry teddy coat. It's got nice deep pockets. I love the design of it. I like how the drop shoulder is really prominent. It's just warm, it's comfortable, it's on trend. If you don't have a scarf or hat with you and it's really cold, you can just pull up the collar. It's oversized, it has a lot of excess material, so you can just bam. I love that it's affordable, but it looks quite chic and expensive. I don't know, is that just me? And this was a recent purchase, so it is still available. Everything's linked down below. This is a completely different style of coat compared to the ones I've shown you. This is definitely my warmest winter coat. This is what I put on when it's really cold or it's snowing. It's got thick padding on the inside. The outside is like a parka jacket kind of look. Even the hood has the same padding inside, so it's very, very warm. It's got a button here, so you can tie it up. Tightly. It's got an extra material on the inside on the wrist so it stops any cold getting in. I love that this coat is full of pockets. It's got two zip pockets up here. These are zip pockets as well with buttons on the top and it's got a pocket on the inside. These sort of padded jackets I feel like always make you look quite big. So I like that this one has a drawstring around the waist that you can tighten and make the waist a bit more snatched in. I mean you're still going to look big in these coats which is fine but it's just nice to have the option to make it a bit more shapely and fitted around the waist. And this is what it looks like done up. Very, very warm coat. Even the pockets have fleece lining in them. So your hands are always gonna be toasty warm. And the pockets. This is also my oldest coat. I've had this for about five years at least, I think. And I got it for around 80 pounds at the time. I got it from USC. It's a Fire truck coat, very warm, very good quality. I don't think after five years they're selling the same one, but again, I will find you something similar and link it below. And I've already shown you a faux fur coat and two teddy coats, so I won't spend too long on this one, but I really want to show you this because I only got this a few days ago. It just 
try it on and show you. This one is from Misguided. Just ignore the little strap because I haven't decided if I'm going to keep it or not. But what do you think? What do you think? I don't know. It's an oversized furry teddy coat and I got it in a size 8. So if you're like in between sizes like myself, like 8 to 10, I would definitely go for the smaller size. Fits amazing. Misguided had and maybe still has, I'm not sure, a 35% off some of their clothes. And this I got for 39.50. 39.50. 40 pounds for this coat. I mean, I know I already have a lot in this style, but I don't have a grey one. And it's very warm. Like the arms are very snug and long and I'm already feeling quite hot in this. I've only had it on for like a few minutes. It's got a button here to do it up. Pockets. Yeah, quite nice and deep. It's got a nice satin grey lining. I do really like it, but I'm trying not to buy more than I absolutely need. Okay, that's a lie, but I am working on it. Just ignore this strap. What do you think? I just feel like the material, is it me or does it look a bit like a shabby carpet? This one I showed you before, I just feel like maybe looks a bit better than this. I don't know. Or does this actually look quite nice and I'm just, I don't, I don't know. I love the fact that the arms are so long. I just love that. Oh, they're just so cosy and comfy. It's just, it's so nice. What do we think? Should I keep this? It's only £40, but I do have similar coats. I don't have this colour though. I don't know. I'm going to have to think about it, but I just want to include it in this video because you may be able to still get this on sale and it's very warm, amazing for winter. I love the colour. I'm just not a great fan of the way the fur looks in person. But when I'm looking in the viewfinder, I'm like, oh, it looks quite nice. Maybe it looks better on camera, who knows? And the last coat I'm gonna show you, another one of my favorites. This one is a lovely, long, oversized wool coat from Zara. I got this around two years ago. So again, I will link a similar one in the description. It's just so well made. The material is really high quality, a nice warm coat. I feel like it's a very effortlessly relaxed, yet smart coat. Very chic. Show you a little close up of the material. I'll wear it open, it's a very big oversized look. Again, can do it up at the back to tighten it a bit so a bit more slimline up the front now. As well as winter, I also wear this on the colder days in spring and autumn. So I get a lot of wear out of this. I feel like it's a really simple, chic, elegant coat. Love it. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.